Our next guest is a talented actor from a legendary show business family. You know him from Boardwalk Empire and season four of Fargo on FX. Please welcome Jack Houston. <laughs> Just go with the bow. You know what? In Japan, they had it right. The bow is a perfectly acceptable. I think I've never done it before. And in a way, in the old days, you know, like I think, um, like Doc Severinsen on the Tonight Show, would there'd always be a bow. Always bow to your yeah. sensei. Yes, it's very uh, <laughs> old school. How you yeah. doing? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm doing well. I've been watching you on uh, on Fargo and uh, yeah. one of my favorite shows. It's a good show. And uh, I don't want to say anything about. Well, we can talk about your character. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. When I first saw you playing this guy, he's got OCD. Sure. He's an OCD. Yeah. yeah. I felt sorry for you because I was like, this must be an absolute nightmare to have to have ticks and uh, the, the knocking and all of this kind of stuff. Oh, and man. And to be able to, like, summon that <laughs> and to put it in your psyche. Yeah, no, you know what? Is my first meeting with Noah Hawley, who's our wonderful creator. A genius. An oh, absolute truly genius. a genius. Yes. Amazing. He, um, he, the only tidbit he gave me about my character before I signed on was he's a Kansas City detective with OCD. That was it. Mm -hmm. That was the end of it. <laughs> so um, I was living with that for a few months before I went up there. And I remember it was my first day of work. And, um, you know, as an actor, you constantly try to sort of play it down. The subtlety is the sort of trick because the camera's right there. And um, I'd been sort of working on this. And, you know, my character, he... Um, you know, he, he does everything's in five. So I'm doing these with my fingers, I'm, my legs going, all the rest of it. I think I'm going to go in and I'm going to start slow. So I go in and I do my first scene and I go out and Noah's like, go a little further. So I, okay, I go out and my leg starts going. I start doing this and I come back out and he's like, cut. And he's like, go a little further. And you're going against all your instincts as an actor because you're thinking, okay, right, I'm about to get really big. So every time you go, go a little further, by the end of it, my eye was twitching, my face was twitching, I was doing this, I was doing these fingers, and I was, like, moving things on the desk. And then he goes, okay, good, now pull it back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I get it. Because what he wanted me to feel and experience was he wanted to get all of these things out of me to know what was actually happening inside. Because if you have OCD, what you do do is only a fraction of what you want to do. So, you know, if I'm knocking five times, I probably wanted to kick something 50 times and do something else, move everything. So it was a sort of really good tool. But I, um... Yeah, do you think that he went into filming that day knowing that that was how he was going to handle it, that he was going to fill you with as, much, as many ticks as humanly possible <laughs> and then tell you to try to pretend you don't have OCD? I, you know, it's really interesting because it might be just the genius of Noah, like you said, because it was, like, the best direction I ever got given, which was go further, keep going, keep going. Figure it out, because you can always pull it back, but you don't know how far you can go yeah. until you're given the sort of... But I, there was... Um... Did it become stressful for you as far as oh. maintaining that goes? I have so much sympathy. I mean, truly, for people who actually do suffer from this condition. I have a little of that. Uh, you know, you want got things little... to be even. Oh, and, yeah. And you kind of, like, you know, sometimes do a little bit of counting. Uh, and, yeah. No, it's, totally. It's frustrating. We all have a little... It's funny when I speak to people, people about it, but it's... Um, what I developed from this was I drink a lot of coffee and there's a great line where Timothy Oliphant's character says to me, it's like, rough night, and I go, they're all rough. It's like every night. When Noah's pushing me, I developed this, I, um, this weird facial tick that... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it suddenly starts going and my face started going. And then I realised as soon as they said action, my face would automatically start going because I was holding so much in. And then I was, um, I remember I, after a specifically sort of strenuous, hardcore sort of Otis Weff scene, I was uh, in a taxi on the way. I'd just broken for Christmas break and I was on the way to the airport and I finished and my face is just going and I can't stop it. And I'm like, I call my partner, Shannon, I'm like, this is me now. <laughs> I've, I, 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 I've, I've developed a facial tick. I, I, I truly believe it took me three days.
to lose it. Wow. My anything like that, I had gone so far into it. So I was like, wow. it was insane. Yeah, it was a mess. That is, yeah. that's it's disturbing. Crazy. It was disturbing. Could be worse too, it was by hard. the way. <laughs> I know. What will you do for Thanksgiving? Do you visit the uh, Houston family? Do you guys have a, a congregation of some kind? Yes, we do. Yes. We um, we go to my aunt Angelica's um, auntie Jelly, as my kids call her. Um, we go to her ranch, which is in a, a place called Three Rivers. So, is we, uh... it a real ranch or it with, <laughs> a ranch. with animals um, and everything? It or... truly is. It's yeah. got it's got a lot of animals. Some wanted, some unwanted. Oh, well, really? Um, <laughs> well, they, well they, you know. So I'm going to be completely honest. I have not just arachnophobia. I have the worst fear of spiders really? since I was a child. Like I see a spider, and you think it was my daughter screaming. Really? I have it horrifically. <laughs> and um, and and subsequently, I've now now managed to place my fears entirely on my children. I have a four-year-old boy and a seven-year-old daughter. And they, when I think I shriek at a spider, now because of Daddy, every time seeing a spider running out of the room. They take it to like that's how it to goes. It goes insane. I pretend I'm not scared of anything with my children, even though many times, like my son's three years old, he comes. We went to Idaho. He has a snake in his hand. He's got a snake. He's holding like this. he's actually holding. The yeah, snake. he's holding the snake. I'm like, <laughs> and it's also <laughs> when you realize a three year old is more man than you are all the time. <laughs> the whole time. By the way, my kids the whole time. It's so funny you say that about you too, because. I remember last time we went there, it was in the summer, and, um, you know, every sort of day there was about sort of 20 to 30 shrieks, probably mainly from me, <laughs> some of my children, <laughs> seeing a, a little spider. And I remember it was the last night, and I was sitting out on the porch, and I hear this blood-curdling scream from my daughter. And I was like, she's seen a spider. I was like, OK, I've taken it too far. I was like, come on, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I walk into the bedroom, and which I'm sharing with my daughter and my partner's in another room with my son. And on the wall, I'm not joking, is a tarantula the size of my whole palm, directly above our bed, where we've been sleeping every night. Wow. So I'm like, that's a massive spider. OK, we've got to get out of here. So obviously, I get Shannon, my partner, to come in and take it out while we all ran away. <laughs> really? Uh, Wait a minute. Was like, cool. How does that work exactly? Well, I, 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 she knows me better than she anyone. She got a tarantula out of the room? She, she looks at she The best is she sort of, she's like, you guys are ridiculous. Really? And she just like puts it together. And I say to my daughter, we were, you know, she was having a bath and I was like, and we're going to Auntie Jelly's for Thanksgiving. She was like, I'm not going there. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not going there. <laughs> and I was like, is it about the spider? And she was like, I'm not going there. <laughs> and I go, um, listen, every night before we go to bed, I'll pull the bed out, we'll go through every drawer. I was trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. If my daughter wasn't there, I'd be doing this anyway. You'd be doing it anyway. I'd be <laughs> pulling the bed out. I was like checking, I was like trying to be like, listen, it's ridiculous. You can't act this way about spiders. And then don't worry, if you hear daddy <laughs> screaming and wetting himself, then you'll know there's a spider in the room and you should run. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's true. Take your cue off me, honey, OK? It's Have you good. thought about immersing yourself in spiders? Like, would you take a role? Like, would you play Spider-Man if they wanted you to? You know what? I, it's funny. I've had a lot of weird run-ins with spiders. Like, yeah. okay, I'm like, out of nowhere. I mean, I've, like, almost sat on a redback spider. I slept under a bush of tarantulas in Australia by so mistake, really... thinking it was a real bush. And once in Uruguay, I remember a spider Flick something on me that gave me like a massive swollen eye. So I'm like, I've had a horrible experience. You're being, you're actually being chased by these spiders. Spiders plague my life. <laughs> <laughs> you got spiders and no. ticks. Spiders all over. <laughs> They're literally. That's my life. Well, well, it's very good to see you. Ah, uh, it's so good. Uh, to the see show you. is great. It's called Fargo, season four. The finale is Sunday night on FX. Jack Houston, everybody. Thanks, Jack. We'll be right back with Jewel. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>